Tom Marks from PC Gamer here at PAX South with Mike from Capcom. How you doing, Mike? Doing pretty good about yourself, man. Good, good. So I just got a chance to play Umbrella Core, which is the Resident Evil shooter. Can you tell me a little bit about what the game is for those who don't know? So this is a multiplayer-focused Resident Evil title. Uh, close quarter battles, really quick matches, really competitive. So it's a little bit different than your normal story-based Resident Evil, but we really wanted to focus on doing something a little bit different and bringing a unique package to the world of you know just shooters in general. So. Yeah, and I, I wasn't sure what to expect from the game going in. I was expecting kind of an arcade shooter, but it, it seems to be really focused on, on a lot of complex gun mechanics and, and movement mechanics and that sort of thing. Right, yeah, so it offers a little bit, you know, it has you, you're mostly standard shooter controls, but there's a lot of unique stuff within it as well. You have the two teams, really tight quarter battles, so there's not you're not going to be running with sniper rivals or anything like that. It's going to be really tight, like, like hallways and just like, Know, pot, taking pop shots and really crawling around really quickly, but zombies and some of the you know BOWs and things like that that Resident Evil has to offer some of the cool things about it. As you mentioned, um, they just kind of float around to begin with, and it's you know you're wondering what's going on. But then you look at your teammate, and they've actually got these backpacks on. They're pretty unique, called zombie jammers. A little bit of our zombie magic uh, makes me wonder why some of the other you know mainline RE characters don't use them. It'd be a lot safer in those games. So everyone will start the match with those backpacks on, fully fully uh, operational. Uh, until the match gets going, maybe they shoot a zombie to piss it off. Maybe they shoot one, uh, they get into a firefight, um, and it gets damaged. Then the zombies start to go a little bit crazy, and you can do stuff like chasing them around to make like to find out where the rest of the team is, uh, potentially getting killed by them as well. So they're kind of an unruly force, and it's an extra thing that you know RE brings to the table that not other games could. So. Yeah, and when, when I was playing, it seemed like because of those zombie jammers, the zombies didn't really come into play until later in the game. Like, how much did you see the zombies as, like, more of set dressing, and how much do you think they're actually core to the gameplay of, of the shooting? I think without thinking about it, they, or without, whether you like it or not, they become that, because when you get into a firefight, even if you're not, you know, shooting directly at the zombies, you're, you're probably going to hit some, which automatically triggers them to come after you as well. Um, not just the jammer backpack. So even if you're not thinking about it, you'll start getting swiped at. You'll start getting this. And once you get into a firefight, and maybe you get damaged a little bit, and you go try to crawl behind a box or something, and um, there you go, you get bit and you're dead. You just like get that zombie assist. That happens so many times at the show. Here, people are like, what happened? What happened? It's like, gotta watch out, man. That's they're part of the game as well. So, so uh, talk to me about the decision to make the game very quick paced. The mode I played, you only had one life, and it was three v three. So it was very, very fast rounds. Right. So that we're showing out the one life match mode here. We'll have other modes as well, but this is one for the shows that we felt would do really well. Uh, you know, your standard deathmatch style, this is best three out of five rounds. So uh, we wanted to make sure that the, the notion of like, that quick tempo, that fast pace, um, went off really well to show like this, and this is the one that got it done the most, so. So t talk to me about gun variety then, because you mentioned no sniper rifles and that sort of thing, but uh, I mainly just use sort of a standard assault rifle and then grenades. What other gun variety is there? So we haven't gone into too much detail as to what, like, you know, the names of them and stuff like that. But obviously, just in the demo alone, we've got, you know, your submachine guns, your, you know, standard type pistol. You've got a magnum type pistol, which is kind of like you get two or three shots quick and it'll kill them. Um, shotguns, which are really powerful in tight corners. A variety of different grenades, including just your standard frags. Uh, on top of that, one of our signature weapons that we have also is a brainer. It's basically like a hook, like a mountain climbing hook. Um, that you can use to basically clear out rooms of zombies and also sneak up attack for an instant kill on enemies as well. So uh, we're obviously going to have way more weapons than that. Uh, more varieties just for, you know, customized the way people like to play. But uh, right now we're sticking with sort of our basic couple loadouts just for the demo. And so finally, why do a competitive shooter with Resident Evil? Resident Evil's always been mainly this single player focused story based games. Well, why go this direction? Yeah, so Resident Evil has kind of evolved over the next couple of years. We're actually coming up on our, our 20th year. We've evolved from uh, you know, doing the original survival horror adventures to moving a little bit like, you know, pioneering over the shoulder shooters with RE4, like going a little bit more action in terms of 5 and 6. Um, and there's a lot of different teams that work at Resident Evil, and this is one thing that they just wanted to try. We're based in Japan, All of our, a lot of our biohazard dev teams are located in Japan, and it's one of the things that, like, they put two and two together, like, we'd like to try this. You know, there's lots of, even if you don't notice it, like, the, the tactical mercenaries, the hunks of the world that are in these games, and they wanted to sort of, like, do a little bit, you know, like a little bit of a side project that went deeper into like what what's that like like what are they like what do they do you know when they're not like in the main spotlight of you know a numbered title or something like that so and finally uh, when can we expect Resident Evil Umbrella Core so Umbrella Core is going to be coming out on PC and PS4 on May in May of 2016 thanks very much thank you so much man and be sure to stay tuned at pcgamer.com for more from Pax out